everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a video on the it cosmetics brushes this is the your beautiful basics airbrush 101 brush kit and this is $58 which was a $130 value um, I wanted to review this for you guys just because I did purchase this for myself um, I've always I was always intrigued with a cosmetics brushes because when you go to Ulta they look so soft and when you touch them they're so so soft and you know one brush is like $40 so I kind of wanted to just test out all these brushes for $58 I think that's a pretty good amount um just because one brush could come up to like $30 $40 up there in that kind of price range so you do get two four or five brushes and I'm gonna show you guys um the brushes and what are their per what are the purposes and also I'm just going to tell you guys what I use them for personally. Okay so I recently posted up a video on get ready with me um, holiday look edition and I used these, these brushes in that video. I'll link it down below just to show you guys what I use them for because in this video I'm not going to be able to show you guys what I use them for maybe just like a little demo just because uh, my software doesn't do that like I can't like talk and then show you guys how to use it I don't know I have the windows I don't have that whole Mac laptop I have a windows laptop so I can't do that special effects stuff that other youtubers do but other than that I'm just gonna talk about the brushes so the brush case comes like this it is so cute very sleek black with the bow on it and then it says it right here and then you just open it up and then your brushes come in a little kit like this and this is just a protector for your brushes and then you can add more brushes or some or other stuff in here so these are the brushes the reason why I got this one because this brush intrigued me like so much this ooh, this brush reminded me of another brush that I absolutely love which is the um, Morphe brush and these brushes are very similar except the Morphe one is more tapered to the top it's more pointy and this one's more rounded but these are very similar so right out the bat um, right out the bat these brushes are very lightweight um, th like this like they handle like plastic like like you could break it in half if you could or if you wanted to um, would not recommend that but you can because these are very like cheap you could feel like the cheapness of it but the only reason why I wanted to buy it was for the bristles and the brushes so when right off the bat um the brushes are really really soft especially this one since it is like the powder brush um in the video that i posted a couple of days ago um i use this for multi-purpose to apply powder all over my face for bronzer and for blush this is a really really great brush multi-use brush you can use this for anything sitting underneath the eye bronzer again highlighting all that good stuff so i really really like this brush and then Oh, okay, so what is going on? So this brush is supposed to be the airbrush powder brush. Um, it says to apply your favorite powders, blushes, or bronzers to large areas of your face using circular motions, which is awesome, which is what exactly what I use this for. Other brushes that I have in here, I don't like them for certain things, and I'll tell you guys what it is, but I did use this again for my blush, bronzer, and powder, and it is amazing. So I really, really love this brush. So the next brush in this kit is the, this is the airbrush foundation brush. And this brush, what is this? this brush wasn't really amazing for foundation. I feel like it's too small for my face. I have a pretty big face. You have a small face. I think this will be fine, but I kind of felt that it was a little bit flimsy. It wasn't um, as sturdy as I wanted it to be like my Sigma one or you know my yeah just my Sigma one that's the only one I own um just my Sigma one is more like hard and this one's a little bit flimsy so this does absorb a lot of your foundation and I don't like that so this is your foundation brush and it says here in the back of this little thing it says apply your favorite liquid cream or powder foundations by buffing from the center of your face outwards motion so again i don't like using this for foundation it just absorbs the foundation and i feel like it doesn't apply it nicely to the skin um i feel like it's, the bristles are kind of harsh in this brush compared to the other ones that i just showed you guys 
I don't know, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this is a little bit harsh. So what I like to use this for is for contouring. And the video that I'm going to link down below, I use this for contouring. And I just feel like it is absolutely perfect for that little area to contour with. The sides of your face, your forehead, all that good stuff. And also the sides of your nose. So I do not use this for foundation. I just use this for contouring. And the next brush that's in here, it is the concealer brush which looks like this and again this is just a concealer brush another brush that is very another brush that is very similar to this one is the morphe e8 brush the morphe one is a bit more rounder than this one this one's a little bit flimsier and this one's a little bit more dense again i'll probably prefer this one instead of this one but i have been using this one for my concealer and it's here and let's see what it says right here so it says that um Dab your favorite concealer on and around any imperfections. Um, then add a finishing powder over the top for full, even coverage. So that's what it claims that this brush does for your face. Um, I like I like it. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like this is not necessary. You can use your beauty, beauty blender. You can use that brush, the E8 from Morphe. Um, but it does apply the concealer nicely and it does blend out nicely. And I feel like... This is a good brush. It's not a great brush. It's not a brush that I would want or like we use, like I need to use it. Again, the bristles aren't that soft and that even compared to the ones that you buy individually. So yeah, I don't know. But um, this is a pretty good brush. Again, this is nothing that I would want or I'm going to reach for all the time when I do concealer. I'd rather use a like Beauty Blender or the E8 one from Morphe. The last two brushes are eye brushes. And this one is the, what is this? This is a Flawless All Over Shadow Brush. I think I used this one for, what did I use this one for? Don't remember. Just for highlighting. Okay, so this one is the Airbrush Crease Brush. This is for your, to apply your favorite darker shadows to your crease and blend seamlessly using windshield wiper motions to add depth. Um, I feel like these brushes are not good for your eyes. I don't know why. I tried it. It would not blend out nicely. I feel like my Morphe brushes or my Sigma brushes or even the brushes I buy at TJ Maxx are better than this one. Maybe I'm using it wrong. I don't know how you could use a blending brush wrong. But, um, it doesn't really blend out the product nicely. In the video, I didn't use this in my eyes. I think I used this for highlighter. Um... I like using this for the, my nose area to like highlight my nose, but other than that, I don't like using this for my eyes. Again, the bristles aren't as soft as the other brushes that they have, and like the cut of it isn't that even. It's kind of like just flimsy everywhere. I don't know. It's something that I would not typically wear or use, I mean, on a daily basis. And last but not least, it is the next brush, and this is the Airbrush Shadow Brush. This is to apply your favorite shadow to your lid and bend seamlessly for the perfect airbrush look. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> um, I think this is a pretty decent powder like packer brush. Um, nothing again fancy or anything like that. Uh, I don't remember what I used this for. Did I use this in the video? I think I did. But I don't remember what I used this for because I honestly did hardly use this brush to be honest. But um, yeah, this is a packer brush. It's okay. Um, I prefer my crown brush this is the um c47 crease and shadow brush it looks very similar except that this one is a bit more fluffier than this one i prefer this one because it applies the shadow a little bit more better and also has another side for like a pencil brush for your under eye and this is like four dollars and again this one came in the set so i don't know how much it is individually but um but yeah uh i don't know maybe yeah no i don't know i just I don't know, I have really mixed emotions about these brushes. And the, maybe the only reason why is because I already own other brushes, so I already know what I like. But to be honest, these brushes, the way, like, when you look at it, it looks very nice and fancy. But when you hold it, it just feels cheap. I don't know, it just feels cheap. It doesn't feel, like, nice. Like, Morphe brushes are inexpensive, but they feel nice, if, you, if that makes sense. Like, they feel... And the quality is nice and the only thing that's nice about these brushes are just the bristles and not like the packaging and if that makes sense um i don't know 
Again, the packaging is pretty nice, but it is like lightweight, which is good and bad. I don't know. I like the I like packaging that is like heavy because you know it's like good. I don't know. I, it's just me personally. If you like it like lightweight, then you'll like these brushes. But to be honest, you could find other alternatives to these brushes. The brushes I do really like is just the powder brush. I love the shape. I like the tulip shape. So this one will be a brush that I'll use every day. The other ones are probably the ones that I won't really use. Maybe the like the the foundation one just for contouring. And this one for my like under eye. But these two, I don't know what I'll use these for. I might use them just to like contour the sides of my nose, maybe. Or like to apply highlight in my cupid's bow or like my nose. But other than that, I would not use it for my eyes. I feel like they're a little bit scratchy on the eyes. Um, I don't know why, but sometimes I feel like they're a little bit scratchy. Don't know. Don't know. Um, overall, I think this is a pretty decent deal. Again, it's $58 and you do get five brushes. But, you know, if you already own a lot of these brushes, I don't think you need it. But if you want to try A Cosmetics brushes and, you know, you just want your own kit, like your own set, then I think these are a pretty decent deal. Again, um, I feel like the eye brushes are really necessary for the eyes. But maybe just the batch that I got is bad. Because, you know, sometimes when you have kits and stuff like that, like certain stuff, um, certain brushes are like made differently. I don't know, but... I'm just talking. <laughs> I talk too fast. But anyways, um, so far I like these brushes. I don't love them. I they're not brushes that are like wow, like you need to go get your hands on these. Like you need to go get it. These aren't those kind of brushes. But let me know what you guys think. If you guys tried any other A Cosmetics brushes, please let me know down below and specify which ones you've tried. Just because I want to try some of the brushes. You know, um, my like biggest like collection is my brushes like if you see this brushes are my thing like i love brushes so if you have any suggestions of any brushes oh any suggestions from sigma um morphe i don't know bedellium tools anything like that let me know down below and let me know if you guys have tried these because i don't know these aren't my favorite but they're not bad just in the middle they're okay they're okay so yeah guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!